It was so gradual, it took time for a Blaine family to notice. Their son stopped speaking in public, terrified to utter a word outside their home. The cause is a rare but severe childhood anxiety disorder, and tonight his family is speaking out to shatter the silence. On your mark, get set, go. In his element, Emmett is like most five-year-old boys. Running, jumping, laughing, screaming, talking, nonstop. And he likes normal five-year-old stuff. Cars and trucks. He says he wants to be Spider-Man when he grows up because he loves protecting people. But spend time in the Sandberg home in Blaine and see one stark difference between Emmett and other kids his age. It's not a choice. Yeah, it's just a, a debilitating anxiety where he, he's afraid to talk. I mean, it's, it's a social anxiety where in a social situation, he, he just can't talk. Yeah, it's a real fear of having people hear his voice. He will go kicking and screaming and do everything he can to avoid having to talk in front of other people other than his immediate family. Samantha and Darren Sandberg noticed early signs of anxiety in Emmett, but this year a kindergarten evaluation revealed a new diagnosis called selective mutism. What is that? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> didn't know, never heard of it before and didn't know what it was. So we start, you know, reading online different books. A child with selective mutism speaks normally at home, but is unable to speak in other social settings. So on this day, meeting us as strangers with cameras. Which is your favorite, Lightning McQueen or Mater? Emmett will only answer or speak with a whisper in his parents' ear. Lightning McQueen. Lightning McQueen's your favorite? Good yeah. job. Good job. Awesome. Good brave talking. So he'll try to do it in our ears first, and we try to encourage him to whisper to the front of our faces. And oftentimes he'll cup his hands over his mouth so that you can't see his mouth when he's talking. And Emmett faces more complication, considering the sister who is always by his side. Oh, well, he's one minute older. In contrast, Ellie is outgoing, extroverted, and as you can see here, often speaks for her brother. And he didn't have a wiggly tooth. I think that has been part of his coping mechanism. A boy scared speechless brings big fears for mom and dad too. In school, you know, how's he going to act, interact with the teachers or kids are going to bully him because he's different. And as a parent, those, those are scary things. The lack of awareness and lack of options for treatment for it, that's been really difficult. The Sandbergs could only find one therapist in Minnesota who specializes in selective mutism, part of why they are speaking for their son. <laughs> they want to help other families find understanding in the silence and in the children lost for words. There's progress, so there's definitely hope that we'll keep that progress going. Hmm. Certainly behaves like a little boy. <laughs> yeah, it's just so cute and so sweet. So, but you could see immediately when we were there, he, he whispered to his parents. And I just wanted to um, share with you what they told me. This is often underdiagnosed or misdiagnosed. A lot of times people think this is autism or ADHD or kids are being shy or defiant. So sometimes it takes a while, you know, to reach this diagnosis. Mm -hmm. Wow. And it's so rare. Is there any other thing that will jumpstart his anxiety? Does he get scared in public places or anything like that? Or is this the thing that he, where he shuts down? Um, it's complex. There's other, there's other fears, especially of strangers and okay. stranger danger and of kidnapping. Oh, so gosh. that's also kind of feeds into the fear of public meeting mm -hmm. strangers. So. Yeah, just, is there another therapy? Is there a way for him to grow out of this? So what his parents told me, he does see the only specialist in the state. So people will move here to be close to the therapist from outstate Minnesota. And I just talked to her on the phone. She said people will drive from Iowa wow. or all around the region because she is the only person that specializes in this. So it, it's, it, it is so rare. They need more people to, to specialize in this. But I'll include that info on our story if people are wondering and they think that their child might have this as well. Way to fight for their son. Yes. Thank you. Thank Hopefully you, Lindsay. He'll, he'll talk when he's ready. Yes, he will. Yeah. They find ways to cope. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, coming up next, it's being called the modern day version of being put into the stocks. Twitter rolled out a new way of policing that includes public shaming.